All our counties also struggling with testing capabilities. The Floresville mayor says residents are coming here to San Antonio to get tested because Floresville just doesn't have the resources. The night team Stephanie Huertas reports more than 20,000 people have come from outside of Bear County to get tested. Well, here in the small town, it's it's a uh... It's very easy because, you know, there's the, the population is not as dense as living in a place like San Antonio, the larger towns. Floresville resident Jesse Julius to... says this is one of the advantages of living in a small town. I can come out to, to this park, which is very nice, and join my neighbors and exercise and don't really have to worry about maintaining the proper social distancing. But COVID-19 is popping up everywhere, including Floresville. Mayor Sissy gonzalez Dippel says residents are concerned as COVID-19 cases continue to rise. A big concern is we open too fast. As of this afternoon, there were 61 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Wilson County and five deaths. The mayor says there are challenges they face during the pandemic, including not having a health department and depending on the state. I've had numerous phone calls going or uh, wanting to know when we're going to have another drive through testing. Gonzalez Dippel says people can get tested at the local hospital and local medical facilities, but there are no drive through testing sites. Because our numbers have increased, we have had more people go out and get tested. So I understand that some have most have gone into San Antonio to get that testing done. The San Antonio Metropolitan Health District says from March to yesterday, there were more than 23,000 people who were tested for COVID-19 in the city of San Antonio that live outside of the county. The tests could have been done by a combination of city, hospitals and clinics. Those numbers are not counted in the city of San Antonio's total number of positive cases. We are are trying to instill in folks that the precautions you took back in March and April, please go back to those. The social distancing, the washing of the hands, the face coverings, if you so choose, but not to take things too lax. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News.